to say I what? I wanted to tell a story. I was, uh, my husband and I uh, took a, a four-day trip out to Utah last November, just for the heck of it, because we said, we just got to get out of here, and we're going to go to the craziest place we can think of. We flew <laughs> into Salt Lake, yeah. we flew into Salt Lake City, Utah. rented a car, and drove to southwestern, southeastern Utah. Uh, through um, uh, the Arches National mm -hmm. Park oh, and Dead Horse, so and then beautiful. down to uh, Monument Valley, right. stayed a night in Monument Valley, and then just drove through. And while we were driving, and it looked like another planet half the time we were there. Mm. We, we were there driving for four days, and I think, you know, I, I mean, we saw so few other people. It was just beautiful. It was mm. incredible. It was just mm. the greatest road trip. But while we were going on one of our, uh, we were going across the state, and we were listening to the radio. My, my husband had some music and some tapes, but we decided to listen to the radio. And this kind of scratchy, this program was coming in and out, and it was somebody talking about mesquite. And not as a as the wood, the burning part, but right. as as an ingredient, the pods, I guess it was. And I was like, flowers, oh, wow, this yeah. is really interesting. Mm -hmm. I was like, I wonder what this is. This is, you know, public radio. You know, mm -hmm. we could tell what it was. And I was like, you know, I bet that's Lynn. You know, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I, I bet did. Lynn. I did. Must I just said, you know, I know and she it was has Charles those Perry. I think the great historian oh, okay. and linguist, and he's yeah. just, a, and he had just retired from the. LA Times and oh he was talking about the oh. and I was just at a conference where a group of people from that particular area of the southwest were talking about its use medicinally yeah. by native peoples